Definitely feels like winter's here. It's rather overcast today, windy. I'm sure you can hear the wind. Really not ideal weather to be getting into the bees. It's really overcast, really chilly. But I need to get into these bees in the back here. It's one of the, my um, yards that I've set up for breeding queens this season through the winter. You can see how dry it is around here. So I need to get in and give them some feed. So let's have a look. I want to see if they're even working in this weather. I certainly wouldn't want to be working. Really quiet. Odd bee going in and coming out. Really not a lot going on. Let's have a look at one of the stronger ones here. This one's working a little bit better. I say that and as I come here, really not a lot going on. Certainly don't see a lot coming into these boxes. It is a bit of a concern. I'm needing to feed them up. We have been feeding them to just try and get them nice and strong. This particular box here, you see it's still got its newspaper in. This was a very strong colony that I was raising queens with and they swarmed on me. So I lost the queen having cells in the top. They thought they were in the right condition to swarm and so I lost the queen. So we tried to save them by just dropping on a, another unit on top of them with a, a queen. So I specifically want to open them. I'm not going to dig around too much in the brood nest now. It's too cold. But I just want to have a look and maybe just look at rectifying them, switching these two boxes around. We've got a loose floor here so I can do that. So hopefully I can get in and at least do that with this swarm. Just get uh, them working the way I need them. I need the queen at the bottom for the queen rearing and I need a second brood above them so that I can manipulate them accordingly. And look here, there's some bit more activity with this double nuke here. Although every time I say that and I walk up to them it goes quiet. But it's really chilly today. Our maximum is probably only about 15 I think. And I'm right here in the middle of the day now. The sun's peeping through a little bit and I can feel it's, the wind is cold. I've even got a jersey underneath my overall today. So it's really not ideal weather to be getting into the bees. But we've got work that I need to start prepping for. We really need to start raising some queens in the next two weeks. We need to at least begin so that I have queens at the right time for when we start to do splits on the aloes. So we're going to do what we can to help these bees, hopefully give them some food and just encourage them to, to just brood up a little bit, a little bit more than what they're doing. I'm going to go and get kitted up, I'm sure these ladies aren't going to be in the best of mood, so I'm going to make sure I'm well kitted, light a decent smoker and then get into them. I'm going to start with the end one here, this is my breeder queen, gone and made an happy mistake. Left my hive tool back at the house. So, moral of the story, we always carry a spare screwdriver in the vehicle for these occasions. And today the screwdriver is also not there. But we're here now. Thankfully I've only come here to feed the bees. So I should be able to crack the lids and just to top up the feeders. It's probably not a bad thing. It stops me scratching around unnecessarily in these hives. Because knowing me, I would have found an itch to get into one of the brood chambers. So maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Let's have a look. I always start off just getting my smoker going again. Nice thick white smoke. I never open a box without giving them smoke. You can't afford to. Our bees just get so defensive with us. So just a little puff in each entrance. I don't have to give them a lot today because I just need them to know that I'm coming in. 
we're not going to be doing a lot of work on them. Got my feeder bottle right here. So I'm literally going to just crack the lid, put a little bit of smoke under the lid, just so that they know we're coming. But you can see how cold they are, they're just sitting. But there's my feeder, it's my internal feeder. I'm going to drop feed into here now. You can see it's dry. See the bees sitting tied up inside there, and really not a lot going on. Bunching up nicely in here, but really not a lot going on. Not a lot of building, not a lot of signs of building. These bees look so quiet because they're so cold. So let's just top them up. See exactly now I want to peep down and have a look in here. You know, out of curiosity, but don't have a hive tool. It's too cold today, so maybe it's not a bad thing. them back the way they were. of bees sitting up over the excluder I leave these plastic excluders on they don't cause any harm for us here and I see this one doesn't have an internal feeder because we've taken their top box off so I might try and just add one on here shortly but for now let's just close them up I need to make them cold unnecessarily box of bees makes these bees look really nice and gentle <laughs> because they're so cold I don't want to expose them for too long here I'm just gonna drop some feed in for them so they're just maintaining about five frames here that's all they're doing feed we're dropping onto them is just a one-to-one -one sugar solution 50% sugar well one part is the one part sugar to one part water it's not quite a 50% when you work on one kilo of sugar to one liter of water you don't get two liters of mass liquid
gonna have a look if there's any bees left in this one. What we did was we pulled some bees to weaken some of these strong mother colonies, our breeder colonies. So we just put them next to these bees hoping that they would join up otherwise we would come along and join them up so yeah this box is empty and it's got a feeder in it so this box is now going to go on top of that other one that i didn't have a feeder in so that i can start to feed them getting that lined up a bit better well, that's great that's an empty box we can utilize elsewhere Quite a nice box of bees. Look down in there. We're missing a frame. So I'm just gonna fill these empty spots right now, or that empty spot with an extra frame from this other box. It's a nice new comb that's just been drawn out, so we'll drop that in here for these girls to think about. see the clouds developing it's getting really cold now I can feel the temperature dropping as these clouds are rolling in so I really want to get done now but these bees need feed so I've got to just push through drop um, feed onto them bees are nice and full to the top here how oh, they're lifting those little nodding of glands but look at them also missing a frame in this box just from the last time we worked them we were removing brood that we had put in the top look at them down at the bottom this is a really nice size box of bees I mean for them to be maintaining that in this cold really nice so let's get that feed into them now try and hurry this process up a little bit for these bees you must feel like you're in your nice warm bed and the next thing somebody comes and rips the blanket off of you that's what i picture so let's try and close them up again but they'll be a whole lot happier to have some food just through this cold as well. Got the last top three yet to do. It would be a very different outcome on a warm day. This is so pleasant working bees like this. For me, I'm not hot in the suit. Bees aren't trying to sting me in the face. It's actually lovely. But again, it's not ideal for the bees, really. I'm looking at you, I've got a good four frames of bees at the top they're not really in between the end ones and down there I see I've got space at the bottom too so 
not the strongest unit but we'll feed them up get them up to strength so we can be raising some queens in the coming weeks them closed up put their blanket back on just keep at it this is the one that I wanted to switch the brood chambers around in so without having a hive tool now I'm gonna probably just inspect the top might try and crack it but otherwise I'll do it when I come back we had I had work planned to do today but with this weather I'm just going through feeding so I've got to be back here in the next day or two when it warms up so if I don't get to doing the work now as long as I'm putting feed on them I know they can keep going keep them moving forward I don't want them going backwards not now not just before I need to start raising queens. That's a beautiful box of bees though. Have a look at that and look how they're sitting so nice and calm. Sure, this makes me wish that our bees weren't always like this. But this is because the brood nest is at the top. So that's alright. Like I said, I'm okay with that. gonna just feed them put the lid back on and then I'm gonna crack the bottom if I can so let's have a look if there's bees at the bottom yeah there is so I'm going to use their lid just keep everything straight they are getting a bit ticked off with me. I suppose I'd also get a bit ticked off if somebody was messing around with my house when I'm nice and cozy in bed. So I'm just gonna crack this off very quickly. Yeah, they really are not very happy with me. But let's just switch this around pull this newspaper off now and I'll come and switch the feeder around the next time I'm not too concerned about doing that right now mainly you want to just switch the boxes around so that I've got it in the right configuration for when we start setting them up to raise queens so you can have a look there's quite a bunch of bees in the top or which was the bottom so that's good this is a nice box of bees let's just close them up they pretty grumpy with what I've been doing to them now there's a bit of syrup pouring out the entrance I probably messed a bit now with that feeder I should have topped the feeder up afterwards but I knew the feeder is going to go to the bottom so I didn't want to have the nest exposed too long but I think I've made a bit more of a mess than I needed to yeah but thankfully these bees are strong they'll cope with that they'll sort it out don't want to leave this in the field if you throw this in the crate These bees are now grumpy. I suppose again I would be too in this weather. If somebody was messing around with my house. This is the last one though, so we just push through, get the work done. My smoker, as you can see, is starting to get a bit hot now, but I'm on my last hive. And again, I'm not doing a lot in these hives, so I'm just gonna push through. 
get the last one done. Not a lot of bees at the top of this one. They're up, but not a lot. You can see the nice combs that they built. Well, they're drawing out this foundation nicely. But I don't want to break their cluster today. We'll come in and do the work that needs to be done on these hives another day. As I say, it's a blessing in disguise that I left the hive floor behind today. Here we go ladies, have some food. I'll see you on a warmer day. Maybe I must just mention as well, this is not a norm to be necessarily feeding bees like this, this time of the year. It's not really recommended to be messing around with your bees if you don't have reason to be. The only reason I'm opening these hives today is specifically because I need them to keep progressing forward, not close down for the winter. I need them moving forward. I'm monitoring their nutrition very closely. When we do go into them, I'll be looking at what brood stores they've got. So the amount of brood that they've got will tell me and the condition of that brood will tell me what the nutrition is like. Again, I monitor it very closely. I'm even hearing a bit of thunder in the distance now. It's time to pack up and get out of here.